My experience growing up was, was not a good one when it came to religion. We went to a very strict Southern Baptist church and they put me in Sunday school and I was very intimidated because all the children knew all about the verses and the Bible and I was very intimidated because I didn't know all those things. So it wasn't a good experience. I didn't like it. Every time I would leave church, I would feel like I was really bad. Then when I was about 11, 12 years old, they got a divorce. And then we didn't go to church. So it was a very long time before I went to church. I tried going to church with friends. I just never felt comfortable. I felt like every time I left from there, I was a terrible person. I felt like people were being judgmental. Time went on and I was in healthcare. So it was seven day a week, 24 hour day kind of thing. And you don't have much time for much else. And then I retired, I took quilting lessons and I took ceramic lessons. I felt like I was missing something. And my husband and I had been to Millsboro and we enjoyed it. We loved Pastor Danny and listened to his services, and, but because of the distance and our occupations, it wasn't a priority. Then I saw that they should have built a church here, and so I told my husband I was gonna try it, that I was looking for something, and I didn't know exactly what I was looking for, but I needed to be fulfilled. So I came to Bayshore, and my first time here, was wonderful. Everybody was so friendly and the music was so happy and I left feeling good. And so I continued to come. And then at the same time, I got a diagnosis of cancer. That's a pretty big thing to swallow. I came to church and I don't know what it was about that service or if it was the service and the songs and my diagnosis, everything wrapped up in one. I needed to talk to somebody. And I said, who do I talk to? Go talk to Pastor Chase. I was just pretty overwhelmed. I started crying and I told you that I didn't know what to do. I knew I believed in God and I knew I believed that Jesus died on the cross for my sins, but I didn't know how to be saved and I knew that I needed to be. And um, you looked at me and you said, you just did it. You just did it. You asked me if I would mind if a few people came in the room and everybody put their hands on me and prayed and then we had communion. And after a little while, I left and I was just so peaceful. I just knew I was in the right place, that I knew people would care. I was only in the hospital three days. I came home. One day, my husband went to the mailbox and he brought in this manila envelope and inside of it were all these get well cards and they were from all the kids and people here at Bayshore. And I just started crying because people really cared. And I thought, I belong here. I belong here with my friends, my family. They care about me and I care about them. And I'm learning God's word. Every morning I read and I do my devotion and I sing my music and I pray. And I don't know what life is gonna have, but I know God will be with me. If you're searching and you're missing something in your life, reach out, he'll be there, he'll be there.